Hello, I hope everyone's okay. Um, today, um, I've just been for a little walk um, and I'm just starting to prep some batch cooking um, ready for this week at work. So what I'm going to be doing is a sim-free chilli. Um, so you'd need some 5% lean beef mince. You only need half of this, so 500 grams. So I'm going to make something else for the rest. Um, you'll need some peppers and onions if you don't like peppers and onions you can just leave them out i use the frozen ones um because they work just as well and taste just as good so i'm just going to use a cup full of those you can use more if you want you can add whatever veg you want to a chili um love mushrooms so i'm going to add the full punnet just to fill out the chili and then what i can do is um kind of portion it up for work and because you add so much veg it just makes it go that little bit further so you'll need a tin of chopped tomatoes you'll need two teaspoons of chopped garlic or two garlic cloves you'll need two tablespoons of tomato puree a teaspoon of paprika a teaspoon of chili or more um, if you like it spicy I only like it mild a teaspoon of cumin and then you'll just need one oxo cube um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to warm my pan up um, and I'm going to start frying off the vegetables first and once they start kind of softening I'm going to add the um, mince so I'll try and film as much as I can so I'm just getting the pan ready and I've just got out my fry light. I haven't got any sunflower one, so this is um, butter one. So it all does the same job. So plenty in the pan. I've just got it on a high heat to start off with and then once everything's in and cooked, you'll just let it simmer. So I'm just going to add all the vegetables. I'll just let that cook down a bit and then I'll show you what I do with the mince. So that's just about right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just push all the veg to one side. I'm just going to give it another spray with fry light. And then I've already separated the beef to two lots of 500 grams. And I'm just going to add the beef. If you don't like using your hands with raw meat, just use a spoon. But I like to just break it up. Um, just to separate it because if not you find fresh meat um, like mince when it's only got 5% fat it just clumps together so what I do is break it with my hands and then I'll break it through with with a spoon through the veg um, so that should do so I'm just going to wash my hands so you just need to just stir through now, just stir till all the veggies mixed in with the, the mince and just kind of stab the mince, just try and break it down as much as you can so it's not clumping together. Um, and then we'll just keep stirring it now with the veg until all the mince is brown and then we'll add the other ingredients. So it's just about done all the... Um, the mince is brown so I'm just going to add the tin of tomatoes so after the tomatoes you just need two tablespoons of tomato puree I never measure anything so <laughs> about two tablespoons so that should do and then I'm going to add two teaspoons of lazy garlic so that's one, two, and then you need a teaspoon of cumin, a bit more, that'll do, just get it on the spoon, and then you need a heat teaspoon of paprika, And that's 
line that one and then your chilli so like I said I don't like mine very spicy so I'm just going to have a teaspoon obviously if you like it spicy I just add more but that's all I'm going to be adding today and then the last thing to add is your beef stock cube Break this up. Just add that. And then all you need to do is stir it all together and then turn it down to about one or two and leave it to simmer for about 30 minutes. Um, if, if you like your kidney beans um, I think you add these at the end it's not something that I like so um, I don't cook with them um, so it's all sim free so what we'll do now is I'll leave it to simmer for 30 minutes and then I'm just going to test it just to make sure I don't need to add any more chilli sorry when you leave it to simmer as well you do need to cover it with a lid just so it reduces down so the chilli's had 30 minutes now so I'm just going to give it a stir but it's thickened up lovely and it looks nice and it smells nice so I'm just going to give it a taste and then um, I'm going to portion this up we'll probably get four meals um, two for my husband two for me um, you can serve it with anything I mean I don't like rice or pasta so I have mine with jacket potato so um, I just put my jacket potato in a little um, Tupperware and just put the chilli at the side and then it'll, I'll just warm it up but it'll keep in the fridge for about um, three three days or you can freeze it and it cooks lovely from frozen as well um, and then I'll be doing my husband's with rice or pasta so I've just given it a taste and it's um, absolutely spot on um, for, for my liking it, obviously if you like it um, more spicy just add more chilli but the flavour of it with all the other different herbs and flavourings um, it is spot on it's like I said um, it's made for and that will do us um, for a couple of days and then I'm going to be doing another video for leek and potato soup so these will do me Tuesday Wednesday the soup will do me Thursday Friday and then um, Monday I'll have leftover Sunday dinner so I hope you've enjoyed this video like I say it is sim free um, and it freezes and stays in the fridge for three days so um, it's quite a good one to do you can also do like a shepherd's pie with it so you could put mash on top and just put it in the oven for a little bit um, but I prefer mine on jacket potatoes so I hope you've enjoyed this recipe um, and if you do like it give it a give it a thumbs up um, and please subscribe.